Hello, my name is Randy Abdallah, and I'm a professor at Stanford University, and I majored in English. And this is my FOA on the Chronicle of a Death Foretold. So the question I'm going to be answering today is, how does machismo and diffusion of responsibility lead to honor killings and blood feuds in the Chronicle of a Death Foretold? Overview. First off, I'm going to uh, give a brief summary of the Chronicle of a Death Foretold, define what machismo is and show how it is throughout the story, as well as defining diffusion of responsibility and how it is throughout the story. Also, I'm going to bring up honor killings and blood feuds and connect them all together. And finally, a works cited page where I got all my sources. So the summary of the chronicle, the chronicle of a death foretold. The story revolves around the death of Santiago Nassar, a very young man. And the story is about how he is killed because of rumors going around that he has slept with someone's daughter before marriage and took her virginity. So the twin brothers, Pedro and Pablo Vaccaro, have this sister named Angela Vaccaro. And the sister marries a man named Bayardo San Roman, and he's loved by the city because he's a very wealthy man and donates to the church. But he returns Angela on the night of their wedding because she's no longer a virgin. She's not a virgin. He finds this out, takes her back to the family, and the family is mad at the daughter, especially the two twin brothers. And the two twin brothers believe that it is Santiago who took Angela's virginity, so they kill him. Machismo. What is machismo? It is a strong or aggressive pride and a sense of being manly. This picture on the side describes what it, what it means, where a man is larger than a woman, and that's socially constructed by the society. It's a male-dominated society where men must protect the family name at all costs, no matter what, whether it's killing them or anything. The Vaccaro brothers think killing Santiago is the only way to restore their name, which is honestly a very dumb and young way of thinking to solve something, because really it will, it will just cause more problems later on. And machismo is a form of toxic masculinity, and as I said earlier, is caused by a male-dominated society, where they want to assert their dominance over everything, and the only way to overcome their problems is through violence. Diffusion of Responsibility Diffusion of responsibility is a socio-psychological phenomenon where a person is less likely to take responsibility for action or inaction when others are present. For example, this picture right here describes what it means. A man is beating another man, and there are many people around, but none, nobody thinks twice to take action and stop or alert authorities. Rather, they just watch and carry on with their daily lives because they believe that someone else in the crowd might uh, take action, and only until then they will take action. Um, and in the story, Chronicle of Death Foretold, the town knows about the plot to kill Santiago, but no one feels the need to warn him as if it's not their problem. And nobody thought it was necessary to tell Santiago because um, <coughs> because they, they're so used to honor killings happening throughout the city that it just become a normal thing in Colombia for them, and nobody... Th thinks it's uh nobody thinks they should take action to help Santiago. Now honor killing. An honor killing is the murder of a family, is the murder of a member of a family due to the perpetrator's belief that the victim has brought shame or dishonor upon the family. And in this case, <coughs> Angela has brought dishonor by losing her virginity before marriage and staining their last name because now the man she is married knows that she's no longer a virgin. And the word will spread around and bring shame to uh, the family last name. So to restore the to restore the honor, the brothers kill Santiago rather than their sister. Normally, in an honor killing, they would kill the other family member or the fa their own family member because they don't want that uh, stain. On, on, they don't want that stain longer in their family. And this picture depicts a man kissing a woman with her head chopped off. <coughs> because she has dishonored the family, and the dad killed her. But in this story, it goes a little different. Now, blood feuds. Blood feuds are a lengthy conflict between families involving a cycle, cycle of retaliatory killings or injury. So, in this case, the brothers, the Vicario brothers, started a blood feud due to the honor killings, and due to machismo as well. They're, they're wanting to assert dominance over the other family by killing them, so that there's no longer dishonor to their family, starts a, a blood feud between the two last names, Nassar 
and Bakaria. <coughs> this all started due to uh, Santiago allegedly taking Angela's virginity before marriage, which in this culture is a no-no, and that Angela must have stayed stayed uh, a virgin till marriage. Now, the connection between all this. Machismo is what caused the honor killings and blood feud between the Nassar and Vicario family because the Vicario brothers wanted to assert their dominance. So basically, the two twin brothers thought the only necessary way to restore the family name is to kill the man who took their sister's virginity, which is unethical, but in their culture, it is the right thing to do. And nobody, nobody sees it as a wrong thing because they would do the same thing. Diffusion of responsibility ties into this problem because people <coughs> heard about the plot to kill Santiago, but did not say or do anything about it. In the story, everyone knows about the plot to kill Santiago and no one feels the need to tell him. And he was murdered in front of multiple witnesses and still nobody tried to stop them. The reason for this is because that mentality that honor killings are normal and aren't really a problem leads to this diffusion of, or is caused because of this diffusion of responsibility. And nobody, nobody wants to help him because it's not their problem. And it, it doesn't pertain to them. And machismo is due to toxic masculinity and due to Colombia being a male dominated society and men tend to solve problems with violence and revenge. So basically this sums up the whole story. Because the two uh, Vicario brothers want to assert their dominance over the Santiago Nassar's family. Just to prove <coughs> that they are more manly than he is and that they restore their uh, last name. And this is only the case in male-dominated societies. And we hear a lot about honor killings in the Middle East and Latin America because this is how men believe to solve problems is with violence and revenge. And also, people are so used to seeing honor killings that they do not see it as a major problem and do nothing to stop it. And we see this in the story where Santiago is getting stabbed and nobody does anything or tries to help him. And even before that, they could have prevented the murder, but they just thought it wasn't a big deal because it's so normal in this male-dominated society. And now, this leads to a blood feud because the blood feud will continue between the Nassar and Vicario family. Because the Nassar family, it's not in the book, but might kill somebody from the Vicario family and it'll keep going back and forth. And these families will no longer um, be friends anymore. And uh, this is my work cited. And uh, thank you for watching. This is my FOA on Chronicle of a Death Foretold.